the low HDL associated with the metabolic syndrome has probably multiple causes and we don't completely understand what is the real cause. But we do know that there is an increased concentration of triglyceride-rich lipoproteins in the metabolic syndrome. This is largely because of an increased synthesis of triglyceride in the liver. With the increased triglyceride-rich lipoproteins, there's an increased transfer of cholesterol ester from HDL to these triglyceride-rich lipoproteins promoted by the cholesterol ester transfer protein, or CETP. That process leads to a draining of cholesterol out of the HDL and the low HDL concentration. It's interesting that in the metabolic syndrome, with the insulin resistance, there tends to be an increased concentration in the plasma of free fatty acids. And the increased free fatty acids interact with CETP to increase the rate of transfer and further drain cholesterol out of the HDL, further contributing to a low HDL concentration. And finally, there is some evidence that there may be a decreased synthesis of ApoA1, although that's less certain, but that would even further decrease the concentration of HDL. We need further research, but there is no doubt that there are multiple mechanisms leading to the low HDL.